It was a big, big episode for AEW Dynamite, but could they draw a big rating? They went all out on the card. They put a lot of special stuff on. They had an AEW Women's Title main event. They had the Elite Wrestling. They had Chris Jericho Wrestling. They had the debut of an ECW legend. They had John Moxley bleed. Well, wait, John Moxley bleeds every week, but still, they had Moxley. They had Thumbtacks. They had a triple threat hardcore match. And still, they didn't do a big rating. In fact, the rating actually went down. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Not good news for AEW Dynamite. The 200th edition of Dynamite. This big show that's been talked up now for weeks and weeks and weeks. How did it do? Not very good. It is down from last week's episode last week's episode which was also down from the blood and guts episode so not a good week for AEW Dynamite and not a good bit of news for Bully Ray this is the same Bully Ray that said if you bring him or if you bring Tommy Dreamer an ECW original on Dynamite and put him in the ring with Jack Perry he said it's going to get over a million views what did Tony Khan do Tony Khan got the biggest and best ECW legend he could. Mr. Monday Night, now we're going to have to call him Mr. Wednesday Night, Mr. All Elite, Mr. Rob Fam. Damn. And still, they couldn't do a good rating. They didn't get this 1 million views that Bully Ray is talking about. In fact, they drew 800 in 94,000. So yeah, Billy Ray said you could easily, he said he guaranteed easily over a million if you brought him or Tommy Dreamer on. Well, Tony Khan got somebody better than him and Tommy Dreamer and RVD couldn't help AEW do over 900,000 views. And this is a terrible rating for AEW, especially when you consider what this show was advertised and what this show involved. We had MJF and Adam Cole in a promo. MJF gave Adam Cole a shot at the title and they announced that they'd be competing in London. We had the Elite Wrestling on the show with Chris Jericho and a big tag team match against his own crew, the Jericho Appreciation Society. We had that big Rob Van Dam debut against Jack Perry. We had the, the triple threat match where John Moxley was bleeding against Pentagon Dark and the guy from Best Friends there was blood all over the ring. We had weapons, we had everything. And then of course in the main event with Shida finally getting her rematch against Jamie Hayter for the AEW Women's Championship big title match in the main event in the show flop the rating went down so this doesn't make any sense Billy Ray said the rating would go up with Rob Van Dam Tony Khan put on multiple things on this show including Rob Van Dam and the rating did not go up the key demographic 18 to 49 drew a 0.31 which is slightly up from last week's, but not that much of a difference, to be honest. And just overall, very, very poor. Wednesday night's Dynamite drew the 13th highest total audience of the year so far. So, again, just a middle of the run episode. Very, very middle of the run here. And it's probably the closest I've got to... The, the million bar, the blood and guts, but this is what Dynamite have to expect now. They're not that show that used to draw 1 million, 1.1, 1.2. A 900,000 episode rating for Dynamite is probably pretty good now. And they stacked the card, and that, they couldn't even get it. All right, albeit they weren't that far from 900,000, but they stacked this edition of Dynamite, and they couldn't even get over 900,000, let alone a million. So... I don't know what the rating is going to look like for AEW. This year, they've only had one rating above a million. It was barely over a million. It was the February 22nd episode of Dynamite. I'm not quite sure what happened on that episode to get that rating. But, yeah, other than that, the, the rating has not been good for AEW Dynamite. They are slipping. And, I mean, 800,000 seems to be their new ballpark. That seems to be where AEW Dynamite is setting. And who knows? Collision's had a couple of good weeks. Maybe Collision, if it can continue doing good stuff, if it can continue delivering good 
episodes maybe collision can get a lot closer to dynamite because at the moment dynamite is not doing much and yeah it's kind of crazy how this show was averaging over a million in its first couple of um years and, and now it's now it's not so yeah sucks for aew dynamite that's it guys though fog wrestling here we'll catch you in the next one till then though peace